Hello and welcome to another game review on the Xbox Simulation Gaming Series. This time we are doing a game review of Bus Simulator 21. This game was released in September 2021 and I do realize that I have not uh, done a review of On The Road Truck Simulator yet and On The Road Truck Simulator was released in February 2021 but they still have not sorted out their steering wheel support and I feel like it's unfair to do a game review right now. Look at that view. It's really nice here. Anyways, like I've been waiting um, for the uh, steering wheel support. I don't know if we'll ever get it. I will release a game review at some point. Um, we'll see how much longer I'm gonna wait. But I do hold Bus Simulator 21 to a higher standard, so I'm doing this review first. And the first thing I wanted to show here is how to lower uh, your NPC spawn rate and NPC car spawn rate. Here's the menu for that. You just go. Uh, there are three options, uh, low, medium and high. It defaults to high and in high you get lots of traffic um, lots of pedestrians running in front of the bus traffic's uh, cars like basically stopping on green lights and trying to block you all the time now even if you set it on low that will happen it just won't happen so often so this is why I always uh, keep it in low and you might have noticed already this is the Seaside Valley map. Uh, there are two maps for this game. Uh, Seaside Valley is the old one, the map that was in Bus Simulator 18. Um, I do have a career walkthrough series for the Angel Shores map. So if you want to see footage from there, like I have 31 episodes, I've decided to do the game review on the other map just because I don't have any videos with this map yet on my channel and I'm also going to drive around that I did have on my bus simulator 18 and I do actually have a video of that uh, it's uh, the airport express is what I call the route and what my bus simulator 18 video is called so this is not only going to be a game review here, I'm also going to kind of compare Bus Simulator 18 to Bus Simulator 21. But let's check for tickets here first. Tickets please. You have a ticket there. There it is. Thank you. And how about you over there? Sure thing. Thank you. And you? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Tickets please. Here you go. Thank Thanks you. to the new airport, I can uh, visit my family more often. Okay. They live far away. Just a minute, dear. Ah, here it is. Thank you. And sure. You can... Thank you. And you over there in the corner? Uh, wait a second. There. Thank you. Okay, so now that we're done with the tickets, um, so I wanted to compare Bus Simulator 18 to 21 um, because there's been a lot of conversations online saying that 18 was better I don't think so <laughs> I definitely think that 21 is better um, but I've also um, did release a video two videos actually I had to split it into two because it was too long a video comparing the simulator 21 to on the road truck simulator truck driver and bus driver simulator 19 uh, so in this video here, I'll do the game review and of course the comparison to the older version of this game. I really like this bus. It is so awesome. Look at it outside. I really like this red color. And uh, this is actually my favorite bus in the game here. That is the longer version of the Scania City White. But let's get going here we still have just one more door the front one to close there we go and what i really like about this game here is that you can set up the steering wheel the way you want so i can pick left easily like that because i've set up my steering wheel uh 
left and right puddles to do the peak left and right so I can look around and by the way here uh, you want to drive a little slower because there are pedestrians that pop up on the road <laughs> and you end up hitting them if you're going too fast it's simply in 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 the turn you're likely not to be able to see them uh, especially if you have NPC rate in high there is going to be a lot of people here again I've set it in low that's why there's only few and back to the steering wheel setup I did have the same thing set up in bus simulator 18 so I was using the paddles to pick left and right there as well now I'm gonna turn right here as long as there's no traffic and pedestrians I think we're good to go Oh no, there is one person crossing. <laughs> I better wait. And I'm close to the curb, so I have to be careful. This is a long bus here. And there we go. Uh, now I'm turning right. In the Bus Simulator 18 game, I was usually turning left here and I was going towards another downhill where I was able to reach 103 kilometers an hour with the bus uh, it is because bus simulator 18 the buses were limited to 84 kilometers an hour and only downhill you could go are you gonna go or not <laughs> only downhill you could go over 84 kilometers an hour and I was using that one because there were only like a couple in the game where you could go over 100 kilometers an hour here uh, with this bus in particular, I've been able to reach 130 kilometers an hour. I did reach with the Volvo 138. That's my record. And I really want to slow down here because right after the rail crossing, there's usually lots of people, <laughs> kamikaze pedestrians, trying to jump in front of the bus like this guy here. And... Um, Again, if you have NPC rating high, there's going to be lots of people here. I have it in low, and thanks to this, there's only a few. But you want to always uh, come here at a lower speed because they really start running in front of the bus. But I think I forgot to really mention why I like this bus so much. It's uh, because it's kind of like a, a longer range kind of coach bus, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of tourist bus simulator when I drive it I love it too but let's uh, check for tickets here and let's take a look at the seats first look at them they look so comfy and they also have seat belts so this is definitely for a little bit longer routes maybe not truly a coach bus tickets please I'm so nervous. here you go thank you for the first time yeah, how's everyone back here sure. tickets, please tickets can you hear? Here. Tickets, Someone tickets, made a website please. For the Thank you. How often do you want to see it? Very often, okay? Tickets, please. There it is. Again. Thank you and quit complaining. Tickets, Why please. Are you asking me again? Because I want to and I can. Sure tickets, thing. please. Thank you. Tickets, please. You asked me already. Oh, come on, everyone here is complaining. Just I show me your tickets. You. Hold on here. Here you go. There it is. Thank you all. Now that we're done with uh, the tickets, we can keep going. Um, so we're, we'll be going on the freeway from here. Actually, <laughs> let's go back. Let's take a look at why this bus kind of looks like a coach. There is actually this luggage uh, shelf or compartment up here. And the back of the bus actually really Sunshine, looks like a coach bus. It just the it front has the space here so for um, handicapped people. But again, look at this uh, uh, luggage compartment. It definitely is kind of like a maybe short distance coach or something like that. Um, it is an electric bus uh, as well, but uh, it does look like a coach and this is one of the reasons why I like it. It makes me feel like I'm driving tourist bus simulator or like some kind of a coach. I always complain that we do not have a coach bus on uh, Xbox. We do now. Actually, as of this week, uh, tourist bus simulator is available, but it's only available on next gen. Um, series X and S on Xbox and 
on the PlayStation 5. I am an Xbox One player, so I don't have that yet. I have not decided if I'm gonna get a next gen uh, console and if I'm getting it, what kind of a console it will be. Um, I might get a new laptop, one that can support the games and maybe uh, maybe that sounds like a better investment right now but uh, we'll think about it and I really like driving the city buses but uh, from time to time I want to also drive on the freeway and uh, this bus in particular has become my absolute favorite I also like the double deckers and the man one of the man articulated buses I, I also like that one and now that we're about to get on the freeway here, let's talk about comparisons to Bus Simulator 18. Here I'm about to merge on this freeway and um, I, in Bus Simulator 18 this is downhill so I was able to reach 96 or even sometimes depending on how fast I man managed to merge uh, 97 kilometers an hour. But even at those speeds, traffic was always passing me. They, they always went at least 100 kilometers an hour, even faster. And here they don't go over 80. 80 is absolute maximum <laughs> for the traffic, which I find annoying. Like, I don't see how I'm going to be driving a bus uh, at 100 kilometers an hour on a freeway and I'm going to have to be dodging traffic all the time, especially if there isn't that much traffic like right now I don't I have to zigzag around them uh, but uh, in bus simulator 18 they seem to be going faster so that's definitely better in bus simulator 18 the way the traffic moves especially on the freeway but at the same time the bus were only limited to 84 kilometers an hour so I like the fact that here you can go faster than 84 kilometers an hour but I would like the traffic also go faster and another thing is the pedestrians here the pedestrians do kind of run out of the way as you approach them so you can kind of rush them to cross the street uh, faster but the problem is sometimes they're on the side of the street and suddenly run in front of your bus and there's nothing you can do you just run them over now in the previous bus simulator 18 uh, pedestrians just kept walking at the same speed sometimes if you didn't see them they can suddenly turn and start crossing and especially if you're with a, an unarticulated bus as you continue going they would hit the back of your bus that doesn't happen here in bus simulator 21 at least that's fixed but <laughs> pedestrians can still be very annoying Another thing here is uh, you can see how I can use the signals to gain extra points here. Uh, now, uh, you just keep your left turning signal as you're inside the circle and the right turning signal when you enter and leave the traffic circle. But that's wrong in real life you should be entering with your left signal and actually keep it on as you could see like in order for me to gain extra points at every exit i would just turn on the left turning signal keep it on until i pass the exit and then turn it off so it gives you points on every exit well in in, in real life you should be keeping your left turning signal until you're approaching your exit when it, you are supposed to turn it right and here, even if you, if you turn the right signal too early, um, one, you can get dinged with negative points, also might not give you uh, your points if you turn it too early. So um, that's not great. <laughs> I really wish that this game was a little more uh, real life-like. Um, it could allow people to actually learn the basics of driving. Unfortunately, I mean, you can still learn some basics here, but a lot of the rules of the road are not, like, real life. Uh, people don't really stop at stop signs and uh, yield signs. Sometimes they have the right of way and they stop and wait for you. So it, it is a little weird and annoying at times. Traffic is designed to basically block you 
and not delay you, cause you problems. You can see how they're popping up right now. So um, it, it can be annoying at times, but overall, I absolutely love this game. I love it. I play it a lot, and I definitely like it more than Bus Simulator 18. Bus Simulator 18 only has this map. Let's not forget this. But they also have in Bus Simulator 21 the Angel Shores map. So you have two maps, much bigger game. And also in Bus Simulator 18, they only have four makes uh, for buses. While in Bus Simulator 21, we have 10 different brands of buses with total of 30 different models. It's huge in terms of buses, so a uh, much bigger, much better game. And for this route, I do like to take them a little longer and I pretty much drove the entire freeway on this map. Now, uh, the new map is a little bit bigger, it has a little bit more of a freeway and the freeway in Angel Shores is actually three lanes, so it's a little bit better uh, to go around traffic, especially when you set uh, the car, NPC car spawn rate in low you almost always have at least one lane free so it's easy to go around and approaching our bus stop here i don't want to be behind this guy on the right because they slam on the brakes uh, this is why i keep it in the left until last moment oh and look how this bus just popped up there this is very annoying but i do have a fix for that i just fast forward by 10 minutes and this bus will be gone here and this fast forwarding also works to change the weather actually it's the only way to change the weather so i do hate the rain so if it starts raining i just fast forward a few minutes and then it's sunny again so because i took my time checking for tickets and driving the long way around i am late but uh regardless <laughs> let's just check for tickets again tickets please Thank you so much. Tickets, please. Here's the ticket. And here's a picture of my cat. Oh, God, I don't want to see a picture I of already your cat. showed Just you my tickets, please. Here you and go. I don't care if I've seen it already. Why Give me your tickets. Why are you asking I already showed me it. again? How often do you want to see it? Again. Of course. Here you go. Of course. I showed you You saw already. my ticket already. But mm, that's fine. weird. I didn't get any fair dodgers on this run. That's uh, that's rare. Usually there's at least one, but this is a short route with only uh, four stops total. So and from here we're going to get to uh, bus terminal, the final stop. A lot of people will be crossing here. Are you gonna cross? Of course she is. I'm afraid that if I go, she is suddenly going to run in front of the bus. They do that. Now if I move here, she does start running <laughs> to cross a little bit faster. But um, again, they can run in front of the bus when they're on the side of the road, so you have to be very careful. And we're gonna make a ride here. Yes, exactly. Uh, usually there are pedestrians here, but not this time. Now, you probably noticed that uh, nobody asked me for tickets. I have turned off the ticket sales. Uh, so, I mean, I just don't like <laughs> dealing with tickets. Um, I simply prefer not to sell tickets while driving. And um, that's why I turned them off. Now, this is your choice. You can turn them on and off. That's totally up to you. Uh, it was the same case in both uh, Bus Simulator 18 and Bus Simulator Oops, I got it on the curb here. <laughs> now, this is the end of the route here. So, that would be the end of the video. Let's turn that off. Oh, this guy just walked right through my cockpit. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at me. I can fly. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, there are some weird stuff in this game. I've tried walking in the mountains, especially in um, Angel Shores map. I did find a place there where it's a uh, map extension in development, uh, but um, it's probably going to be in uh, extension pack two. You can check that video on uh, our channel. A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And don't forget to smash the notification button that will notify you every time we upload awesome videos like this one. With this, we're going to wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for spending the time, and I hope I'll see you in our next video. Goodbye.